What's up, YouTube? It's your boy with it, a kid, and I'm back with another one, man. This is Eastway Boxing Talk in association with 3KingsBoxing.com, and we are the movement. Shout out to everybody that's moving with us, man. Today, I want to talk about Billy Joe Saunders, who has some choice words for Daniel, the Miracle Man Jacobs. Um, this is what he said in the interview with IFLTB. There's an article on it on 3KingsBoxing.com if you guys want to go read it. I'll probably put it, put it down in the description. So, um, this is what he said. If Daniel Jacobs wanted to fight me, he wouldn't have joined Eddie Hearn. So I'm just, it's like me. It's like Canelo now having all the titles, me leaving Frank Warren going to top rank. Never going to happen, is it? Instead of joining Eddie Hearn, he should have took a little bit of less money, or maybe more money, and joined Frank Warren. And then I would have loved to box him on the 14th of April. Love to. He's good. But listen, I can't be the likes of him. I, I can't be the likes of him. I'm not going to do what I said I was going to do. And that's what's in my head. To be honest with you, I couldn't get two shits about Jacobs. Son said, yeah, he's good. But one million percent, I'm better. <laughs> so if they can't work it out between them, meaning Warren and Hearn, I would love to make it happen. He don't sell 10 tickets in America. That's why he's the ex. He's with Eddie Hearn, you know. If they can make it financially work viable for both of us, then I'm sure that me and him has not got a problem fighting each other. One million percent. Uh, that part, he's right. Uh, Daniel Jacobs will probably fight him. Um, it will be a good fight. It's a fight that everybody wanted to see. My whole thing, all the shit that he's saying, ticket sales, all that shit, I don't want to hear about none of that, man. At the end of the day, this is what I want to hear. Like, yeah, I'm going to fight him. Why the fuck are you talking about his promoter? Why don't you just come out and tell the damn truth? The truth is, like Jacob's manager who shot back today said, the truth is, you ain't a Canelo Golovkin winner. So you're gonna, you're not going to take a risk. Why? Why would you? That would be stupid of you. You're definitely not going to take a risk, but you ain't a Canelo Golovkin. So at the end of the day, I understand that you making a business decision, but why try to go fuck some with somebody else, throw shit on somebody else, saying that you're one million percent better? You, nah, man, fuck that, man. You guys, both of you guys, are very high talented fighters. It would be, in my opinion, a very interesting fight. But why bring up Eddie Hearn or Frank Warren? You should. The promoter works for you. And that's exactly what Daniel Jacobs' manager told the media today. He said, listen, Daniel's his own boss. Why is he talking about this or that? Um, if he wants to fight, we could fight. The only reason he's saying all this shit is to cover it up, blah, blah, blah. So it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, I wonder if Billy Joe Saunders really wants to fight a Daniel Jacobs. Um... Will he fight a Daniel Jacobs? Uh be honest with you, I, I think so. Because I think if Canelo Golovkin was not there, then it's a different story. But being that they're, um, that them two guys are out there, and that's a big money fight. And that could be a unification type of fight. So, it, it is what it is, man. Um, and I'm going to, I'll tell you what. I tell you what, man. I will say this. He's right about the ticket part. They could fight in England. Um, Daniel Jacobs isn't the biggest draw. Talented, yes, not the biggest draw. So they could fight in England, though. They could fight where you know where it makes sense to make for both guys to make money. He knows that. Uh, Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn, yeah, they do have a few. They seem to not really like each other. But if I'm the British public, I will put pressure on those two guys because they should be making fights with each other. Stables. Because at the end of the day, it's what's best for the sport. It's what's best for the country, too. I mean, you probably get better fights than the ones you currently get. If they were actually easier to make. So. Uh man. Um, 
I just want to see this fight. It ain't going to happen. But I want to see it. This is your boy, Woody the Kid. Be back with another one soon, man. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, man. One.